All right, this is the episode you guys have been waiting for. This is the actual supercharger install. So I'm gonna take you through every step of the way to install the Science Speed Supercharger Kit onto the ST1000. And they have a nice instruction manual. I'm gonna be following step by step and show you everything that's involved with the process. So first step is to get this air filter out of the way. Take the serpentine belt off. I have a crank pulley holding tool. This is for Hondas. And then a 19 mil on my big uh, torque wrench here. And we're gonna try to break that uh, crank pulley free. Whew, man, I was struggling with that. Had to get the uh, jack handle on the end of my breaker bar there just to break the sluice, but that's what it looks like. Ugh, and there's the pulley. So they supply a modified crank pulley that has these holes in it. And then this little ring adapter fits over the top. And then you have basically two pulley systems, one for your main drive for the motor, serpentine belt, and then one for the supercharger. So we got these brackets on. One goes right here where the alternator bolt would go. And then we have one that kind of wraps around where the VTEC solenoid is, and then there's a little feed line for the supercharger. And I think the drain line goes where the drain plug is, which is interesting, but this gives us a mounting location for the actual supercharger bracket that goes across. Charger's all mounted up. It's crazy how little clearance there is on the bottom there where the uh, frame rail is, but I test fitted the coupler and it still fits on there. Uh, we got the feed line going into the top there. And then, yeah, the um, VTEC oil passes through this little block here that's that was machined, and then it provides a provision to not the actual supercharger, but it's super solid. And then uh, they got these little rubber isolators, which is kind of nice to prevent shock. Um, and then there's a belt tensioner down there. And what you have to do is there's a little screw down here and you can tighten or loosen it to change the belt tension. But I was worried that it's gonna be hard to change the belt since it was tucked in uh, behind the bracket, but it's actually super easy to put on. So if I ever throw a belt on the side of the road, I should be able to change it out pretty easily. And you can see that this belt system is separate from the standard belt system. So there's two belt drives now. So if I do lose the supercharger belt, I still have my main super serpentine belt still. I uh, gotta get rid of, this is for the secondary air pump, and then this was, I think, the wire for the uh, 
valve for it. And then tomorrow, I think I'm just going to tackle, uh, I gotta remove the front bumper and install the water pump. I think it goes like right in this area. Then we're gonna be mounting that. And I think that should be pretty much it. Yeah, just bolting everything back up. Oh, I got to do the air to water inner core. That's going to sit. That's going to sit right here. So I'll be doing that tomorrow. So yeah, tomorrow just a bunch of little, little stuff, but probably got through like half of the instructions. So made pretty good progress. I think the hardest part was taking that crank pulley off. <laughs> Took a lot of effort to do that, but um, yeah, looks pretty sick. This thing's like almost the size of the motor. It's crazy. So that's gonna do it for today's episode. I don't know if you guys had an S2000, how would you build it? Would you do anything different or I don't know. Any suggestions uh, you have for this build, let me know. Because uh, curious what you guys think of this thing so far, and uh, it's gonna be an absolute beast, like doubling the horsepower. So definitely gotta get used to that, and I'm gonna have to run bigger brakes and stuff. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll be publishing another episode, just wrapping stuff up. So stay tuned for that one, and see you on the next one.